Obviously not pleased with the United States Magistrate's Court order directing Chicago University to release his academic records to the presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Atiku Abubakar. President Bola Tinubu has filed an application with the district court to halt implementation of the order. Well, both the PDP and Labour Party front-running candidates, Peter Obi, have elected to go to the apex court for the final resolution of the matter, uh, Yomi. Uh, well, <laughs> oh, Femi, I'm sorry. I'm right. sorry. Go on. Yes. Um, when I saw this, the first question I asked myself is, will, will there be any, will this make any difference at, at the Supreme Court? Will it, will, will it change anything? Will it change anything? Yeah. You, you have asked CSU, Chicago State University, if Ashiwaju did graduated from the school, and they said yes. They have provided, uh, reoccurring, the people have asked, they have independent, others have gone to CSU to, to inquire about Ashiwaju's um, record, if he did graduate, and they said yes. Mm. And they even said they cannot go further to, to provide more details, because it is, it is against the, the, the norm, the, the, the um, practice. Um, school, the school, the, uh, yes, and even um, um, U.S. Uh, law that they cannot. It is only the the candidate, the owner of the certificate, that can ask for his own academic record, and of course, can give permission that it should be released. And so we are going further now to ask that his record, his transcript, his everything should be released. Of what importance? Uh -uh. Of what use? This man has been uh, confirmed president by the tribunal. Okay, so go to, to the Supreme Court and appeal Secret your case. Resident. Yes. Mm -hmm. I don't think, I, don't, I just think it's a dance, in, in, a circus dance. I just okay. think they are dancing. In, in, Biko, in so are you smelling what I'm smelling? Arm twisting tactics. I, I hope that's a, a proper I, phrase to use here. I align with. Uh, what GD uh, said earlier that is there really any value to this uh, this academic record that is looking for? Mm. Some of you said, "Oh, he's a woman. He used a woman's name. The certificate is not his." But they've come out to say, "Yes, he passed through us." This is our student, he was our student, you know. He graduated from the school. Typos mm. can happen anytime. In fact, I have friends that they, they made mistakes in their certificates. You know, but they are still Ty using typographical it. errors. Yes, typographical stuff. errors. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Look at let's even Mikel Obi. Mm. It was a typo. That K was a typo. His name is John Michael Obi. Yeah. 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 It was a typo. Uh, uh, and the and Mikel has stuck stopped. to it. Yes, because that's his, his, um, his, um, um, his passport and other. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So he stuck to it, he continued to use it. As another example, Manchester United's defensive midfielder, Casimiro. Hmm. Is supposed to be C A S I M I R O. Uh, okay. M E R O. Not, not, oh, uh, okay. So it was that Cassie, S E. It shouldn't have been E, it should have been I. They made that mistake, but he accepted it and is going around with Casemiro. Whereas, but pronounced as Casimiro. Yeah. It should have been Ka, uh, C -A -S -I. Cas. Yes, C A S I. Mm. But he's using it all the same. We even had the case of uh, uh, Garuba Lawa, Chindo, mm. the former Nigerian midfielder, former player of uh, uh, NUB. Uh, he was captain of uh, uh, the Nigerian Universal Bank in Kaduna before he became a national team player. His name, Garuba Lawa. Suddenly, 
in one of his sporting records, Mr. Garuba Lawa emerged. <laughs> and we, we, we continue to use it like that because it's the same person. You yeah. will recall that they were calling him Mr. Yes. It, uh, that's, oh, as part of it. He was registered, yeah. Yeah, was registered like that. We played Nations Cup. He was called Mr. Garuba yes, Lawa. Yes, yes. In fact, some, uh, I think some Ben Gade in Cardi Comedia, who now said, ah, um, Garuba Lawa, they are calling him Mr. Because of his age. Mm. Out of respect for him that he's such a veteran, <laughs> you know. Well, we've had people who are older than him in the yeah. national team. Mm. So the, the question is, of what value is this? Election tribunals by nature, they are very rigid. You cannot uh, do any amendment at this stage. Whatever... You, do, you did not converse in the lower court. Whatever evidence you did not plead in the lower court, you can't bring it forward. I don't know why lawyers are misleading Atiku in this, in this manner. You can't bring it, you can't take it before the Supreme Court. But you and I know that in politics, you don't apply the brakes at the, at the red light. Then you are, you are, you, you are, you are asking for, you, you you are asking for a like crash. A serious one. You know, accidents are rampant on Abuja's beautiful roads. Mm -hmm. Because when you, uh, you, you, you refuse to stop, when the red light tells you to, to stop, you eventually go and hit a very quick front. You know, yes. the, because the accidents the are, are very important ones. Very <laughs> so important. The, 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 the thing <laughs> is, what does he want to use another person's academic uh, records, transcripts, yeah. and all that. I've heard some of them say, oh, what certificate did he even use to get into the, the school? The school? Mm. In the U.S., in the U.S., some universities will allow you, they will admit you if you pass the aptitude test. Yes. I have a friend who is an engineer. He didn't use his secondary school certificate from Nigeria. Yeah. And he passed out of the U.S. Uh, university in flying colors. Yes, he he's, did, even, he's even he serving at the national level. Anybody. If you pass that aptitude test, you, you, you subject you to it. If you pass it, they believe your IQ is good enough, yeah. you can Make enter it the there. Yes. So asking which certificate, he may not even have used uh, any secondary certificate. Yes. It's not everybody that passed through secondary school. Yeah, they are who they are today. People have mentioned Baba Fe, Baba Lola. Mm -hmm. In those days, people were using uh, this, um, what is it called? Um, um, this correspondence uh, yeah. examination. People yeah. were sitting for correspondence that, examination. It. Yeah, I remember. They pass and they get admitted mm. to university. You know? So it's not everybody that must pass through. A, 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 C, C, A, and all that stuff. You know, I remember. Yes, yeah. I remember. Even some, some theological institute will make you go through that their correspondence exam. And when you pass, you get certificate, you get other gifts. You know, back then, I don't know if they still do it. You know? So the point that we are, and somebody also argued on, we know there's a lot of ignorance peddling in our country. Somebody mm -hmm. said, oh, he did it, uh, how come two years? Uh, for a degree. <laughs> in the U.S., you don't have to spend four years no, to pack a degree. No. My own mom got a degree in one and a half years. And she even got master's. Before the end, she, she traveled to the U.S., Ohio State University, mm. in uh, this late December 1980. And came back by the summer of 1982. She went in, to the U.S. with an NCE and came back with a master's in literature. So it's a cost system. It's, if you can finish it, there's a number of hours. If you can uh, um, um, uh, complete your study within the stipulated uh, number yeah. of hours, yeah, okay. you are good to go. Yes. Yeah. So there is a lot that our people don't know. But Atiku, uh, uh, frankly, I don't even know what you want to do with someone's transcript. What? Uh, yeah, now uh, they are uh, trying to, they, their own argument is, look, this school, this uh, judge, the magistrate should have uh, reported to the district judge mm -hmm. that the magistrate is not a final court. Magistrate court is not a final court. Therefore, given that kind of ultimatum that you must release in 48 hours, he shouldn't have given that ultimatum because he is not the final court. That's why they have now applied to the 
district court, court. to enforce the law. Yeah, that this, as it should be. Yes, that this magistrate court is not the final court. It has no power to issue such an ultimatum that the, that the academic records uh, should be released. So it's, uh, we, we, we are waiting to see what more drama will happen in the days to okay. come. But okay. uh, in terms of the um, value of all of this, yeah. I think he's just looking for something to embarrass the man. Because this we had no value to his, his case in court. Not at all. You cannot bring fresh evidence to the Supreme Court. Not even to the appeal court. Whatever it is that you didn't uh, uh, bring up at the lower court, you can't bring fresh evidence. That's not how what, 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 you, 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 did, you did wonder why mm. many barristers at law in the country can't tell politicians, look, this is what to do. This is the way to go. It is boom time for them, as I said. Okay. They want to make their money. All right, all right. You know? Okay.